So it was during the 1940s that the father of Kennecuck, Uncle Bill Lance, was giving a message one Sunday morning called, I'm third. And there was a young nine-year-old boy named Johnny Ferrier who was listening to the talk. And Johnny, like the kids I get to work with at K2 every day, he heard it and he did it and he became I'm third. It was God first for Johnny. It was the other person second, it was I'm third. Johnny grew up to become a Canicut counselor. He was a running back at Colorado State University and the finest of our finest men. Then one day Johnny joined the Air Force and he got to fly the F-86 Sabre jet. Flew through a war and somehow made it back even though Johnny was known as the one who would offer his plane and even his life to save the life of a friend who had been shot down in battle. Johnny made it through the war and he became a part of what was called the Minutemen a team of four jet pilots, the best of the best. And then one fateful day, Johnny and his F-86 were in an air show in Dayton, Ohio, flying over about 100,000 people at the national air races at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base there in Ohio. And on that day, they were doing their favorite maneuver called the Fleur de Lis. And in the Fleur de Lis, they would come screaming over the crowd, wingtip to wingtip, just below the speed of sound. Then all of a sudden, in the middle of the crowd, they would all stand up, chasing a tra trail of blue smoke coming out of the back of their plane. Then at 7,000 feet, the planes broke off, broke off into their favorite maneuver called the Fleur de Lis. Johnny out on the right end of the arm at 7,000 feet immediately realized he was in trouble. The rudder had locked in the flight. And in the turn, his plane began to dive. And coincidentally, he was diving into a little house where a woman and a little boy were standing watching the show outside of their picture window. In the interview the next day, the woman told the reporter, she said, I was looking out my picture window. He was coming into my house. She said, we were looking into each other's eyes. And then she said, at the last minute, somehow he pulled it up and he placed it there. And she pointed to a gaping, smoky hole in the garden behind her house, the only place in the town where Johnny could have put the plane without killing anybody, except, of course, himself. The backstory is three times Johnny was commanded to bail out. Three times he pushed the smoke button to his commander saying, I hear you, I understand the command, but I'm not gonna let my plane crash in that house. Johnny held, held the stick and with his great athleticism and his dedication to Christ, Johnny pulled the plane up with the house and saved her life and gave hers. God first, other second, and I'm third has remained the Kennecuck motto for all those years. Two little words would save the world from fighting. Two little words would save the homes from arguments and disputes. Two little words would be great, build great friendships between kids and siblings and kids and parents and parents and kids. Two little words would bring love and happiness into whatever world you live in today. I'm third, God is first, others second, and I'm third. It was Jesus' role model and his way to live.